you look at total cost of ownership, um, triple PFA and supply development. From a practitioner's point of view, a supply chain management practitioner's point of view, sometimes we are conflicted. On the other hand, you must drive costs for the organization down. And then there's triple PFA, which would say you will have to look at functionality price PUE. And then the supply development. So if you were to look at the three at the goal, at these three elements and say, I want to award a contract or a tender based on this, it will not work. Uh, I think any supply chain management professional will tell you. You will have to develop strategies. And you will have to say, for instance, you'll have to have transformation strategies that look at your supply development. So you have to have a supply development program, which will then mean you have to go into your spend, into your plan to say what, which spend or how much spend do you want to allocate to supply development. Because remember, supply development comes at a premium. We cannot, we cannot, uh, put it any other way. It comes at a premium. You need to develop the suppliers. You need to have a program. You need to, make them understand that they are overhead costs. You need to train them on bookkeeping, on financial management, on all other aspects. Some of them, some of them, yes, are there, but most of them that you want to develop, they, are, they still need that training. So as organization, we need to understand if we talk supplier development, we need to have supportive, supportive programs because we need those, those suppliers to be sustainable because Examples of what we have is you have a supplier, a supplier, you give them a three million contract, they blow it because they don't understand the overhead you have to pay, to pay. I mean, if I'm an entrepreneur, I even forget that I have to pay myself. So you have to under, make them understand there's rent. Some of them have smaller offices in the backyard. They don't understand that you still have to pay rent. For them. So you need to develop them. You need to support them. And that support, comes at the price. So the organization needs to put aside some funds to say these are for, for development. So if we are going to say yes, we are going to de develop suppliers within the constraints of triple PFA and strategic sourcing, forget it. It won't work. So it, it, these two need, even though we still say we need to teach them, we need to teach them that yes, there's quality, we know there's um, other things that the company requires. You need to take them step by step for them to be sustainable out there in the future. For instance, when you, I'm saying you put aside, you need to say, we have suppliers that we say you will. For instance, I want you to be in the transport business. You need to transport our equipment, heavy equipment. If we give you a three-year contract, you will not be able to because your bankers will say, you need to pay me back in five years. And we have given you a three-year contract. Other than that, after three years, they go under. And But then if you package to say, I'll give you seven years, I will train you, I'll monitor you. I know after five years, you have paid back your initial outlay, capital outlay, and then I still give you just a two-year contract for you to now sustain and then go out and find other business. After that, you that supplier becomes um, independent. They are not even dependent on you, the one that has developed them, but then they are able to fly out there and get business elsewhere. And then we have millionaires that we have created who are sustainable. Other than that, it doesn't work. Audio jungle. Audio jungle.